everybody, this is Julia from abbasheart.net. I'm here with a video on prosperity God's way. So I'm going to share a personal story of how the Lord opened my eyes to see how important it is to be grateful and what that brings to your life. So a couple of years ago, I went to this fair um, down the street from my house with a couple of my girlfriends. Now, both of them are believers. So they're both Christians and they both love the Lord and they both have a personal relationship with God. And as we were kind of walking around this place, we separated a little bit and we met back up together and we were all looking at the booze. Um, I went to one of these booths with one of the girlfriends. And so my one girlfriend and I was stopped by this booth and the, the people that were selling their homemade items, they, it was a couple. And this couple was engaged and they, they handcrafted picture frames. And so in all these picture frames, they put their travels in these picture frames as advertisement and kind of to connect with the shoppers. And so as we were enjoying their artwork, just taking in all the trips that they had been on together, me and my girlfriend were just enjoying it. Before we leave the booth, my girlfriend stops and says to the couple, you guys are amazing. It's amazing that the Lord has introduced you to each other, that you found each other, that you both enjoy the same activities and that you're both working together. I think it's such a beautiful thing. Can I pray for you? And so she just prays a blessing over the two and she's beaming as she leaves the booth. She's just in a, in a fabulous mood. So I walk around this, uh, fair and I um, eventually bump into my other girlfriend and I bump into her at the very same booth, the very same booth with the picture frames. And so again, I'm just looking at the picture frames with my other girlfriend and there's just a radical difference as we are looking around. She was looking at them and going, man, I want that. I want that for my life. I want to have a boyfriend. I want to go on trips. I want to travel like that. Why won't well, I want to be engaged? Why doesn't that happen to me? And the funny thing was she actually sewed into this couple and bought one of the picture frames. And as this lady was wrapping it up, there was just a complete sense of hopelessness and sadness in my girlfriend's face. And we walked away from that booth and it was a very different feeling. The Lord showed me, do you see the difference? One person appreciates where she is right now. Both of my friends are single. Both of them want to be married, to meet the love of their life. But the Lord showed me the difference in attitude. So as I was kind of going through the trauma of 2020, the Lord put it on my heart to fast from social media. And I did that. I also turned off the news. So I just felt like he was saying, I need you to get positive again. Like my spirit is not grieved and crying all the time. Like this is not where you need to stay. This is not the fullness of your inheritance. And so I just felt him moving me towards gratitude. So one of the avenues to do that is to cut off negativity. And it's not about putting your head in the sand, but it's also understanding that if your spirit needs to heal, it can't heal uh, if it's receiving continuous negativity. And so I also reevaluated a lot of my friendships and the people that I speak to, even some family members. So it's not that I don't like these people, uh, but I needed to move along if I wanted to stay positive. And so I had to break away from certain relationships that weren't healthy for me. And I had to reduce my exposure to certain relationships that were not good for me in the season that I'm in. And I'm learning to respect that the Lord is leading me into a better way of life by, by staying sensitive to what his spirit is saying in this moment. So as I cut off a lot of these negative forces in my life, like the news and social media and some of these negative friends, I was able to receive um, healing and deliverance on, on a deeper level from him. And I'm still in that place right now, to be honest. And because I'm still in this place, the Lord also put it on my heart to not just cut off the negativity, but to be grateful for the things that he's given me. 
and to do a radical gratefulness journal. So I am embarking on this journey of journaling with the Lord again, but this time with a different twist to it. So every day uh, as I sit and journal with him, I'm going to write a love letter to the Lord, thanking him for the things in my life. And I don't think I'll run out of things to be thankful for, but here's the minuscule of the thankfulness that I will be expressing to him. I'm thankful that I'm healthy. I'm thankful that I have air to breathe. I'm thankful that my family is still with me. There are so many things that I'm thankful for, but a lot of times if we just don't stop and acknowledge the goodness God has in our lives, we are literally stopping the joy from flowing in our lives. Just think about the example that I showed you of my two girlfriends that had two different experiences. They both wanted the same thing. They both want to be married. They both want to be in a relationship with someone that's supportive and shares their dreams, but yet they experienced this couple in a different way. And one was able to enjoy the blessings of another. And I believe that that opens up their life, this person's life to receiving blessings in her life. And I believe that um, my other friend who wasn't able to be happy for the other people, I think it's gonna take her a little bit longer to, to receive what God already has for her. Because I believe God has blessings for all of us. But if we're not able to see the blessings that are right in front of us right now today, why should he open up the windows of blessings and dump any more? It's like a kid who's already got food on his plate. Why would a parent give him more food if he's not even eating the food that's in front of him? And so I just wanna challenge you and all of us to just go on this journey to see what the Lord is going to do in your life when you begin to switch from a very negative mindset to one that is focused on the blessings and the positivity of what God has already done in your life. And that way he can build and trust you with a bigger blessing. So I am doing a journal of 30 days of radical gratefulness. I'm just going to start off the day praising the Lord, thanking him for three things every day for 30 days. Please comment below if you wanna join me on this journey because I believe with all my heart that after 30 days, something inside of us will begin to shift and we will begin to tap into more of what God has in store for us as we tap into gratefulness. God bless you and I'm excited to see where this gratefulness journal will take us.